Hello loves, welcome back to another video. Today we are reading Some Villains Don't Get a Choice. Guess what? We're finishing it today. Woo, I'm excited to see where this story ends. Alana, oh, where did you end this? I was, I'm so, as soon as I started this story, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't expect, I didn't expect my interest to go this far, to, to put it into words. I'm excited. Are you excited? You guys, let's get excited. Okay, I'm reading chapter 9 and chapter 10 today. Um, yeah. So, as I've said um, in the past videos, this is Some Villains Don't Get a Choice by my bestie, Ilana. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Chapter 9, Your POV. Dabby, are you okay? Did you get to see your little brother? You signed to him. Yes, I did. I saw him. And I feel fine now. I feel better. Dabby signs to you. After a few hours, uh, a guard came to your cell and called you over. Yes, sir. Do you need something? You got up and walked to him and signed. As he opened the cell door, turn around. He said, and you did as you were told. He put something on your neck, and it was metal. Can you speak for me, please? He said. You read his lips, and you didn't know why he wanted you to speak, but you listened to him. Is before you could say another word, this collar shocked you, and you knew what it was. It was a shock collar. You fell on the floor, and Dabby ran to your side. Hey, are you okay? He signed to you with the word look on his face. Hey, I'm fine. It's just a shock collar, no problem. You signed back to him. Then, standing up, you went to the back of the cell. The guard soon left after talking to Dabby, who was mad. He said that every time you make vibrations or say something, the collar will shock you. And he said that in a few days, they will come back to take us somewhere. He didn't say where though. He signed to you. Dabby sat next to you and then grabbed you, putting you on top of him. I guess he wants to go to sleep. I'm tired too. You thought to yourself, you and Dabby went to sleep, even though it was around 2 p.m. After a week in the cell, the pro hero, Eraserhead, came and opened the cell door. Okay, it's time. We have decided to put you in a villain rehabilitation program. Since you two are minors, you will not be able to go to prison. You two will attend UA, and you'll be in my class. You can call me Mr. Aizawa. He said... We were escorted into a car and drove to UA. When we got there, he gave us uniforms and told us to go change. After we changed, everyone was already in the classroom. Mr. Aizawa went inside the classroom first. Okay class, today we have two new students. They are villains, but they are here to become heroes. So do not be frightened by them. They will not do anything to harm you in any way. We have taken all precautions of them and for us. We will be living in the same dorms with you. You could come in now. You and Dabby walked into the classroom. As soon as you walked in, you saw Izuku, Shoto, and the blonde boy from middle school. When you saw him, you tugged on Dabby's shirt. Can you tell him that I'm sorry for an injury that I have caused him? You signed to him. Dabby walked up to the blonde boy. They said that they're sorry for an injury that they caused you. Dabby said, Whatever. The blonde boy responded. Okay, can you introduce yourselves? Mr. Aizawa said. My name is Wyan Ellen, and my quirk is called Sonic Boom, and I'm deaf. You signed to the class happily. They said that their name is Wyan Ellen, and their quirk is called Sonic Boom, and that they are deaf. My name is Toya Todoroki, and my quirk is cremation. And yes, Shoto is my little brother. Dabby said to them, Okay, thank you. Class, do you have any questions? Mr. Aizawa asked. Uh, sir, what is that thing around their neck? A boy with dark blue hair and glasses said. That is a shock collar, and it's so they don't use their quirk when they speak. Mr. Aizawa said. Okay, if that's all, we're going to the training grounds. You can see what their quirks are. You and your class changed into the gym clothes and went to the training grounds. 
Wyan, you are going to show them your quirk, okay? I'm going to take off the collar, okay? But after you are done, I'm going to put the collar back on you. You just nodded and walked to him. He took off the collar and you rubbed your neck. Can I go now? You signed to Dabby. Yeah, show them what you got. He signed back. Faced away from them. Okay, what do you want to know about my quirk? You said out loud as if you were saying these words. Your quirk activated and everything in front of you was destroyed. Instantly, you turned back around to face them and you saw a look of shock on everyone's face. You turned back around. This is not the only thing I can do. You said out loud again. You turned back to face them again. Everyone, don't move. You said and no one could move. Everyone, take five steps forward. Everyone took five steps forward. Everyone take five steps back. Everyone took five steps back. Everyone move, you say as your last command. You take out your notebook and write. With my quirk, I can create shockwaves every time I speak, no matter how little or how loud I speak. And I can control people by giving them commands, like you just saw. You gave the notebook to Izuku, pass this to them, you sign. To him, he nods. You go back to Mr. Aizawa, and he puts the collar back on. You go back to Dabby. It's your turn. You sign to Dabby. Yeah, yeah, okay. Dabby signs. Then, and walks to Aizawa to take off the quirk canceling bracelets. Dabby goes into the middle of the training grounds. My quirk is cremation, and my flames are blue. And it's the hottest flames, and I can also make flames not burn. He said, showing a little bit of blue flames to them. Do you want to see? He asks b before anyone could say anything. He had sent a gush of blue flames to them. The flames are hitting them, but not burning them. They can touch fire. Cool, right? He says, and he puts the fire out. Chapter 10 End It's been a few months, and teachers trust you and Abby enough to take off the shock collar and quirk canceling handcuffs off. You and Izuku became closer, like old times. Most of the class learned sign language so they could speak to you. You were so happy to see that all they wanted to do was talk to you. You went to the support course and asked Mei if she could make something for your voice so you can control how big of the shockwaves you want to make. It took a couple of weeks, but she made it work. You would practice with present Mike because your quirk was similar to his. Hey Izuku, you signed to Izuku. Yeah, I am. He signed back. If you or I ever encounter any villain, consider that they have a reason to do for what they're doing because sometimes some villains don't get a choice. You signed to him, then looked at Dabby and smiled to him. He smiled back, then you looked at the ocean in front of you. Yeah, will do. Izuku signs and laying his head on your shoulder, watching the ocean as well. Can you guys believe that? I swear, if I post this video, I don't think you guys are going to see or notice when I messed up because I literally did not mess up. I messed up twice. I counted. I messed up twice. That is crazy. Dude, you and Zuku are besties, eh? Shoto's about to become your stepbrother somehow. I don't know. Freaking Dabby's about to adopt you or something. Like, y'all about to be siblings somehow. Like, I'm dead serious. This was Alana. Alana, thank you. Thank you so much for making this. I can't, words cannot express how happy I am right now. Not only that, we won our game today. We won our last game. Like, I'm so excited. Okay, now to talk to you guys because I have a lot on my mind and I would like to share. So, um, my dad is getting me a new board Thursday or Friday. Um, we're going to go to a skateboard shop. They cost so much, dude. They cost like $100, $165, I think, is the most. Um, they cost so much, but we're going to get a board from the skate shop Thursday or Friday, this Thursday or Friday. I have school tomorrow. Exciting, yes, because I'm about to wear some of my new clothes, but I have to wear um, a light jacket on top because they're not school appropriate because they show my shoulders. Ugh, I know, right? Um, also, next year, I'm going to be doing soccer and volleyball because I haven't did volleyball since I was in fifth grade and sixth, but I kind of quit, you know? So, yeah, I'm pretty excited because... Like, I did cheer all middle school, I did cheer in Fukuriko and dance, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited to get back into other sports. 
I think that's all I had to say. Wow. You guys, I'm, I don't know if I am, but I really like writing stories, so during the summer, I might, I really just might start posting five times a week because I wrote a story today and today was not supposed to be like I was not supposed to write a story today and I was supposed to write one tomorrow but since I kind of finished this one I guess I was supposed to write a story today because I wouldn't write them I would just read Alana's and write three I think I'm speaking too much okay we're gonna end this because okay bye loves I hope you enjoyed <laughs>